I just found more corn in my pants. Oh, that's gonna be happening for a week. <laughs> Everybody wants to be buried. This is the coolest car. <laughs> now you know what it's like for me to go running. <laughs> Jeremy and I are doing something totally different than normal today. We woke up super early. If you know me, I am not a morning person, and I got up at 5 a.m. this morning to try to get a bunch of my own work stuff done. Jeremy did the same thing. We both just got up super early so we could get a bunch of stuff done, the stuff that like weighs on our shoulders and distracts us all day from our kids and sometimes makes us grumpier than we need to be. So we're working on that, and then we're trying to pour into our kids this morning. There have been some behavioral issues at our house. Not anything crazy, just the normal stuff of life. But it has reminded us that we need to slow down and give our kids one-on-one -on -one time and attention. And so this morning, before anything else, Jeremy and I are spending five minutes alone with each kid. trying to make some designs with this. She wanted to make a unicorn. That's actually pretty challenging for me. This is the best we got. Poor Laura has a runny nose and a cough. So you least wanted to make a really cool car? Whoa. This is the coolest car. What are you working on, Caleb? The army base. So it has walls, but then there's like a little pouch so you can shoot through. This is our Lego bin. It started out as all sorts of different sets. We still have the uh, instructions for a bunch of them but it's just one giant bin of Legos. What are you building? I'm rebuilding my house. While we were gone at gymnastics, Kendra called and said, Jeremy, I learned a new skill. We're actually gonna call it a talent. This is a new talent. You look great, <laughs> by the way. Thanks. Whoa. My hands were full of something yucky, and I needed the door open, and what do you know? I looked at my toes, and I was like, maybe they could. Super mom skill. Oh yeah. I'll probably do that at the next talent show. Every once in a while, the kids get really into a toy that they haven't played with in a while, and right now they are absorbed in Legos. It's been weeks, maybe months, since they really played Legos, and now they're all playing nicely, and it just makes my heart really happy, and it makes it really hard to want to interrupt them to get anything else done. Look at them all playing together nicely, building and being creative. This is where mom's dreams come true. So Caleb has built this awesome house. This is my Lego guy's house and my motorcycle's house. There it goes. And that drops and it goes. Wow, like a ramp. Yeah. I love your car, Lucy. I also have another one, a minivan. You have a minivan too? Where's your minivan? <laughs> it's in my garage. We shared this one. So this is me and Dad. This is me, Elsa. My password to my house is Skittles. Your password is Skittles? Uh-huh. And are you eating Skittles? Wow. So here's my bed. Here's dad. I'm married to him. Here's our flyer, Majigabig. Wait, how can you be married to him when I'm married to him? Oh, we're pretending. Oh, this is just pretend. Thank you for coming to my grand opening of my plane. My name is Cole. This is my first assistant. This is Chase. Where are we going to be at the we're almost there. We are on our way to the pumpkin patch. We have gone every year to the pumpkin patch for the last 10 years. Cute photo montage. We're going to the pumpkin patch and we're gonna ride a wagon. Ride, go into the pumpkin patch and we're gonna play. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there? Are we there? Casey Pride. One, two, three. 
And you're wearing a royal shirt and you're wearing a chief shirt. You guys need to switch. <laughs> Three, two, one, it's jam. Our names are Annie and Mr. Handsome. They're big Shetland sheep, it says. Stay. So our new family read aloud is called Bunnicula. It's about a vampire bunny. Looking at these bunnies through different eyes today. See it tickle. Caleb, you're so brave. Hi guys. Hello, little goats. These are baby baby ones. Are they so cute? That one's kind of grown up, but this little guy, this is a baby. Hi. Look at how they get their little necks through. <laughs> oh! That goat just sneezed Ooh. on me. Okay. Ew. Oh, these ones are cute. The kids are so excited to see how tall they are. I grew an inch. So we all agree our favorite part of the pumpkin patch is this corn pit. It's amazing. It doesn't matter how old you are, it's fun. Laura, are you jumping in? <laughs> She's like, what is this? Bury him. This is kind of heavy. Uh oh, daddy's helping. You guys are really gonna get buried now. Put your hand down. Feet came out. Oh no. <laughs> no, the feet came out, daddy. Okay, we're not <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Everybody wants to be buried. No more. Do you remember when you were buried in the sand? When we were in San Diego, we buried Elisa in the sand, and Janae had no idea what to do with that. She does not know what to think. <laughs> what is this? And here they are, buried in corn. <laughs> you guys are just floating heads. Mom, look at my chest. I see it. You're breathing. <laughs> oh, corn in the ear. <laughs> He's out. He's released from the corn. You gonna take a little nap? Yeah. Nice and cozy. Hi. Oh. <laughs> we may be here for a while in a corn pit. This is fun. So corn pits were not a thing when I was a kid and I think I would have loved this. I've never been a big sand person because it's just the texture really bothers me. But this, I think I would have loved it. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what it's like for me to go running. <laughs> we're gonna race when we're both back. On your mark. Get set, go! Running in the corn is like running in water. It's way harder. Kids versus dad. Oh, Laura won. <laughs> How'd you do it, Laura? I was right here. Oh, you started right there? Right here. <laughs> so several years ago when we came here they had a giant chair and we took a family picture in it we're lucky that they upgraded to a giant porch swing because now there's room for everybody <laughs> It goes way higher than you think. Oh my goodness, that is definitely going higher. That swing is so cool and much more intense than it looks. Like it looks like a lazy little ride, but it feels pretty good. They just put up pots and pans to make noise. Oh my goodness. You guys, that sounds loud. 
know what my favorite sound is? Silence. When Janae sees a horse now, she signs horse as she says this. Nene, what do you see? Nay. 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 Janae won't sit on the camel or the horse. There we go. Found a good spot. Good job, Laura. How high can you jump? So I totally left my phone on the carousel. I didn't even realize that this had happened. I'm walking away, we're all the way over to the next part and the lady that was operating the carousel is so sweet and comes running out. She's like, ma'am, ma'am, I think you forgot your phone. Yeah, I'm so lucky. So Elise came up to me as we were walking away from the carousel and said, dad, why are you playing music? And I was like, I'm not playing music. And then I pull up my phone, jamming out to the Disney playlist. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing, who knows how long I've been playing music. Apparently, we're both losing our minds. <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> it's the best. So I just found more corn in my pants. Oh, that's gonna be happening for a week. Yeah. That's a real saddle. You fling it down and try to catch the steer. Almost. Good try. Oh. All right, let's see who can get the first one. Oh, that was so close. Elise for the win. Round two, they want a rematch. On your mark, go. Uh-oh, Elise misses. Isaac on and off. Oh, Isaac keeps going on off. Caleb, that was so close. Elise, that was so close. Dad, can you help? Caleb with the win. Two hands above his head. Oh, I'm going to do it. Go. <laughs> Caleb, whoa. Nice work. You're a bouncing on a ball prodigy child. Time to go, but Janae is having the most fun she's had all day, just playing with the rocks. Look at her. Did you find some rocks? Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. She's like, why would you guys need a pit of corn when there's rocks everywhere to play with? Quick side note, can we all just take a minute and appreciate how adorable Janae's shirt is? It says, I love puppies. There is no better shirt in the world for Janae. Hey Janae, can you show us your shirt? Where's your shirt? There's your shirt. Uh oh, and your belly button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not showing off my belly button right now. <laughs> Every good outing ends with a tired kid on daddy's shoulders. It's always a bummer when it's Isaac or Elise. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting ready to re Just a second. So we're getting ready to leave. Janae's not super happy about it. You know what, I'll tell you later. So as we're leaving, I'm realizing that I didn't even see any pumpkins here at the pumpkin patch. Just kidding, there's the pumpkins. What, you're doing double duty? This can't oh, be safe. On my back. This can't be safe. The creepy warty pumpkins. We gotta get one of these someday. Every year we've done a cute picture with the pumpkins. This year, by the time we're getting ready to leave, Janae is done. Laura's behaving well but tired. I don't think she'd smile for a picture. So that's okay. We got a cute picture in the corn spot and take what you get. So we almost didn't go to the pumpkin patch this year. We've gone every year for the last 10 years and we were just really kind of bored with it. Um, but then Jeremy and I were talking and we realized that Janae 
hasn't been to the pumpkin patch in her memory. She doesn't have those experiences. She hasn't seen those animals and played in the corn and it kind of made it all fresh and new and exciting to think of taking her again. And we asked the kids and they all really wanted to go. So even though we were dragging our feet a little bit at the beginning, I'm glad we went. It was a really great time. So tonight we've been singing a bunch of songs that we know Janae loves. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray. Good job. Do you out. Last time we were here, the place caught on fire. So this is her first time to actually play a game in soccer. 